Hi everyone, Dave Morehead here. Today we're gonna make lentil taco pizza. Here's the finished product, and I hope you enjoy eating this. I just tried some, it's absolutely delicious. Here are the ingredients. You'll need two cups of water, one cup of dry lentils, and I brought the hot sauce out, but I didn't need that for this recipe, and I forgot to put cumin in this video. So you're gonna need cumin powder, garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, black pepper, and I also got the salt out, but I didn't need that because it's better than bouillon. The veggie version has lots of salt. And use your favorite vegan pizza crust, and half of an onion, and one clove of elephant garlic. Dice the onions and garlic and cook with a little bit of oil, and add all the spices, make sure everything's combined well. Don't add the better than bouillon, we're gonna add that when we add the water and the lentils. Now add the two cups of water, the lentils, and two level teaspoons of better than bouillon. Mix well and cook until the moisture is absorbed by the lentils. I put a piece of parchment paper on a baking pan and then spread it lightly with oil so the bottom of the pizzas will brown nicely. Keep cooking until all the moisture is absorbed by the lentils. I'm preheating my oven to 400 degrees. Now you'll need to find your masher because when the lentils are cooked, we want to mash them down as much as possible so it's easy for them to stick onto the pizzas. Once you've mashed the lentils, you can spread them around on the top of the pizza crust and then I added a little bit of the rest of the onion on top. Now we're gonna cook the pizzas at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Your oven might be different than mine, so just check it after 20 minutes and see if the crust is golden brown around the edges. That's when you know when it has finished baking. It ended up taking about 25 minutes in my oven until the crust turned brown. And now we get to my favorite part of vegan cooking, and that's when you get to eat what you made. I had a pizza and a half, and I'm stuffed, and it was absolutely delicious, so I hope you enjoy it. Bon appetit.